Hey, TMP, it's your delegate, Palith, also known as Ghost. It's been a few weeks since this term started, and we've had a lot going on, with a lot more things coming up. Some of you, though, don't always hear about it or get a chance to participate, so I hope that our new weekly bulletins help with that. I'm not here to give you a news report of stuff that already happened or stuff that's coming up, but I do want to take some extra time to talk about some of the things that I believe deserve more attention. Let's start with the most obvious thing, end day. A week ago, NS had its seventh end day end, so many of you participated and helped us. Well, I guess I will say lose gracefully. Yeah, we didn't crack the scoreboard because we got decimated in the last 10 minutes, but they only did that because we crawled from the irradiated bottom of the list to get all the way back to fourth place. So pat yourselves on the back for that. And the entire time, we were focused, brave, and loyal to our friends in the Potato Alliance. Both factions were able to do as well as we did because we helped each other and never lost sight of our goal. You think the Horseman's all-time record is impressive? Think how much more impressive it would have been if we hadn't pummeled them into a negative score early in the event. <laughs> we used to be part of the Potato Alliance in the previous two events, and we had a strong showing. Uh, you know, we actually got... Uh, second place, well, would have gotten second place twice if we had held out, but uh, second place on end day five. We used to be part of the Potato Alliance in the previous two events, and we had a strong showing. We've been close for a while now, and this event brought us even closer. We did work with some new and old faces in this year's Card Alliance in the form of our new and old allies who make up our modern gameplay compact partners. That's tree we passed recently between us, Europea, Balder, the Pacific, and the West Pacific. They were fantastic comrades in combat, and if you were on our Discord server, especially the voice chat, we had a blast. Many TMPers made new friends, and as much as we came to understand and appreciate those regions even more than in the past, I know they got to know us a whole lot better too. It is hard to beat the kind of friendships and bonds that we're, that are forged in highly competitive events like this one, and many of us want to hold on to those sometimes fleeting feelings. I've lost count of the number of times people have expressed some form of the thought that they wish end day was longer, or they could experience that more often. What if I told you that there was a way we could do that? If you joined up with the North Pacific Army, you could experience that for up to a couple of hours, up to a couple of times a day. In fact, the more of you that sign up, the more often we can have ops that put you right back in the trenches fighting side by side with your fellow team peers and sometimes guests from other militaries. You may not be clicking nuke or shield buttons, but you will be shifting puppets and clicking buttons at specific times, and you'll have to pay attention and work together to make sure the operations are a success. You may be attacking some places and protecting others, and at the end of the game's updates, uh, you'll have scored a number of hits or not, and everyone else paying attention will know just how well you did. So you know, it's kind of like the end-day scoreboard in that way. This is a tried-and-true tradition in this game, and it's available literally every day. If you're the kind of person who doesn't pay attention to the world assembly, doesn't care for writing role plays or tinkering with stats, or uh, you just uh, want to compete with someone with some actual stakes, don't sleep on this opportunity. And if you do care about any of those things, there's still a place for you in the MPA. I will admit, collecting a bunch of endorsements will be a problem, so you'll have to give that up. Yeah, I know. It sucks. But even if you only participate every once in a blue moon, there's still a place for you in the MPA auxiliary. If you're interested at all, talk to me, talk to Creek Talks, ask around, talk to your friends. We'll be happy to point you in the right direction to sign up for the MPA. It'll be difficult for you to participate if you don't join the Discord server, though, and uh, you will need to apply on the forum. But don't worry. You only have to do that a few times or for short periods of time, if it isn't your thing. And you don't ever have to use voice chat. You just have to be able to listen. But, you know, maybe military stuff isn't your cup of tea. Maybe you weren't a fan of End Day. Maybe you're more creative-minded or artistic. You want to draw something, make a design... Uh, if so, we need you on our culture staff. We have some cool events coming up, and uh, we can use your talents to make them even more special. We also have more things like uh, these bulletins, which could always use more color or an eye for design, if you have such a thing. There are thousands of nations in TMP, and of those, I would say probably hundreds of you who are around 
and pay at least a little bit of attention. You all have things you're good at, and talents that could really help TMP with its projects and goals. But the thing is, if you never volunteer or show us what you've got, then we'll never know what you can do. The game could be much more interesting with your input. If you wanted to get a little more out of this game but weren't sure how, join our executive staff. If you want to be famous in this game, and let's face it, it's a political game and a lot of us are that ambitious, or one of the elected officials someday, everyone's thought about it at least a little bit, join our executive staff. You just might have what it takes to stand out, and even if you don't, you'll meet a lot of other people and have some laughs and some memories. It's a game, so play it. But I know that for a lot of you, taking the extra step can be scary, difficult, or just not suited to how you want to play this game. Nation States is a website, and you should be able to do everything important in it just by logging on. As I've heard many of you and people like you say over the years, our community is larger than the accounts on the website and can do all the things it does because it exists beyond the borders of the website. That's been true since before many of you were born, and it's not going to change. But one thing that can change is what kinds of opportunities you have if you just stick on the game side, part of the community. I want you to know that if you want to participate in the executive staff, but signing up on the forum or joining the Discord isn't going to work for you, I'm willing to meet you halfway. We will reach out by Telegram, we'll try to communicate in the RMB, so you can help us with our various tasks and projects, even if you can't be with the team on our offsite properties. It won't always be easy, and you won't get the full experience you could if you join the places offsite, but you will have a chance to leave your mark on TMP and contribute more than if the staff never tried to bring you in. I don't want any of you to be left out if you truly want to participate and contribute more, so I will do everything I can to bring you in more. I ask, though, that if you find you enjoy the process and want to do more, you seriously consider reaching out on the forum or Discord so you can have even more chances and an easier time participating. I think uh, scheduling is probably going to be the biggest problem here, so be patient. The game side can be busy and messages get lost on the RMB. If you're there a lot, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. We're going to be trying to bring in people from different time zones, people who use the off-site properties and the on-site ones, and your schedules aren't always going to line up. It's, it's just, it's easier if you guys join us on the off-site stuff, but we will find a way. It's probably going to be messy at first, but we'll figure it out. That That's what we're going to aim for this term, and... Uh, if you can just have a little faith and a little patience in us and, you know, meet us the other half of the way that we're meeting you, then it should work out. Another thing many of you are encouraged to do is to become citizens. That's a process that requires making an account and posting on the forum. There's really no getting around that. If you don't like that, you can maintain your citizenship if you post on the RMB and your nation doesn't leave the region. So, if that's a problem for you, just remember you only have to go on the forum the one time to make the application. Uh, some of you will find, though, that even if you do that, you may not get citizenship because you fail the admin check. Too often, that's because you applied on a mobile internet or have home internet that's treated like mobile internet. We have a way to get you citizenship even if that happens, but it's not guaranteed, and it does put additional requirements on you. Specifically, you would have to join the WA. I think there may be a way we can change that system up so that this sort of thing doesn't get in the way in the future, but it's going to be a huge conversation and could take time. Uh, we're going to be talking about it in the Regional Assembly, which uh, if you're in the situation, you, you may not even get to participate because only citizens are members of the Regional Assembly, but even so... There are ways that you could be involved in that discussion. Don't be discouraged if you ran into that issue. You can still participate in most of the region without citizenship, and there are ways to get it even if you fail that check, as I said before. The more you put into your time here, the easier that all will be. We're talking about an exception process, so uh, for the other members of TMP to want to give you the exception, that we'll need to see some commitment, some activity, engagement. The more involved you are, the easier it will be to uh, win them over and get the citizenship. Since we're going to be taking a long, hard look at these rules, though, and are probably going to change them up a lot, this is a great opportunity to hear from you, from people who don't always get involved in the process. Maybe they have other 
issues with the region that they're interested in uh, pursuing. It doesn't just have to be citizenship. So let's uh, let's take the time to explore that. Why is it that some of uh, some of you don't sign up on the forum or the staff? What could be done to make that easier or more appealing? Is there something we're missing or doing badly that can be improved? Most kind of thing. A big challenge for a region like TMP is maximizing our players and finding ways for them all to participate, get involved, have fun in the game. Unfortunately, we can only respond to the people who speak up and do so where they can be seen. And often that's people on the forum or on the Discord. I want you all to be seen and heard. A big part of what we're going to do this term is make that easier for you. And that starts by having the conversation, like the one I'm trying to have with you right now. I hope that if you see all the things going on and uh, all the things we have planned, the kind of stuff that you might be missing out on, you'll have more info to help you decide what to do in the game, maybe even, God forbid, take part in it. Or maybe you'll find it easier to share your thoughts or frustrations and point us in a better direction or something completely different than any of the stuff I'm trying to talk about right now. Finally, I want to highlight one thing coming up that will require a lot of you to cooperate and lend us your support. Z-Day. The annual Halloween event where we deal with the zombie apocalypse. We just had the nuclear one, now we're going to have the zombie. It's quite a bit different than N-Day, since we aren't directly competing for the regions and everything we do only affects our own players. But unlike N-Day, it's not optional. Everyone is going to be at risk from the zombies, whether you like it or not. There are a few ways to play the game, and we will soon put up a poll so you can decide how you want the region to play it. In the past, we have focused on a cure, and in the last couple of years have managed to cure all the zombies in our region by the end of the event. I should stress, though, that just because we pulled that off before doesn't mean we will again. Uh, the game admins do like to shake things up and make it a little harder, so uh, we may have our hands full, which you know, even more reason why we need you guys. Whatever we end up doing, it only works if we all pitch in and help. There will be players who try to mess up the plan, there always are, or mess with each other. We have ways of dealing with them, either by ejecting them from the region or using the other zombie fighting tools the game gives us to stop them in their tracks. We'll go into more detail on all of that as the event gets closer, but no matter what the region ends up doing, there will be an opportunity for you, whether you choose TMP's official option or not. You can have your fun without ruining the fun for everyone else. Uh, there is a difference between seeking your own path and purposely choosing a path that's intended just to ruin the game for other people. I think you're smart enough to tell the difference between those things, and if you're doing it, if you're one of those people who's just trying to mess around with other people and uh, purposely wreck the plan, you know what you're doing. And trust me, my ban hammer is ready for you if you decide to be the jerk player this year. Anyway, thanks for taking a little time to listen to this. I, I hope it was helpful, and I hope you had a chance to look at the bulletin. Seriously, read the bulletin. It's going to go into a lot more stuff than what I did. I think this game is way more awesome when you do a little more than vote in the WA or answer issues. I know once I stopped just doing that, I had a lot more fun. My goal is to show you why the game's more interesting when you do more of that stuff. If nothing else... I hope that you think it's cool the delegate would record a little speech instead of just blasting it out into TG. See you around, and remember, endorse everyone.